possibly the biggest stand here at DSEI this year is BAE Systems. They've got a multitude of products on display, uh, one of them being the, the CB90, as you can see behind me, a tracked IFV. Uh, some of the interesting details of this vehicle are its turrets. So if you look behind me, you'll be able to see a 30 millimeter turret. Um, also, some new additions to that turret as well, bringing it up to a, essentially a fourth generation capability. On there, you'll have sensors for a commander and gunner, giving it essentially hunter-killer capabilities. You also have anti-tank missiles, in this case, the Spike LR. And you also have a coaxial machine gun on the left-hand side, which is a 7.62 millimeter machine gun. Possibly one of the most interesting additions is actually tucked away right at the back, and it's uh, actually an active protection system. Uh, two small canisters on either side, which can eject a projectile and then essentially defeat an incoming anti-tank missile. That's actually provided by IMI Systems. It's called the Iron Fist, and that will be tested on the CV-90. We've heard potentially next year and, and could be supplied to the Dutch Army, so that's one to watch. So right now, uh, there are vehicles coming off the production line, but there's also older CV-90s that are now receiving upgrades. So being the latest generation CV-90, this also includes a, a vehicle architecture, fully electronic, fully digital. That enables the full fusion of sensor data that's coming off the sensors you see on the turret, as well as the 360-degree situational awareness system. Uh, that architecture also allows for health and usage monitoring. Uh, and that means that maintenance and repairs are, are done more efficiently, more intelligently. It's a great platform and we're looking forward to see how it evolves in the future.